All right, welcome back to another edition of Window Screen Adventure. Uh, we are in Simi Valley. I just had to film this because the back of this house is just unbelievable. Um, I don't know if you can see when I'm walking out here that we're already overlooking the San Fernando Valley, which is about 5 million people. Um, take, a, take a quick picture of that so you can see it. San Fernando Valley, all the way out there, over there to the left, all the way out to Burbank and Woodland Hills to the right over there. This is a pretty amazing property. It's way up here. I don't even know if you'd know how to get here if you didn't have an address to go to. It's pretty well hidden. Just down below there was where uh, the Manson people used to be, which is weird. Spawn Ranch, they called it. But anyway, we're doing this house today. Uh, I don't know, you can see up there all of those little tiny windows at the bottom. There's about 40 of them throughout the house and they're all installed on the inside and there's none there now. There's 40 total. We're going to be making um, 40 screens. They're pretty much all the same except for a couple of them are a little smaller, but yeah, we're going to get started. I'm hoping to do 20 or 25 today and then we can, uh, you know, I'll film some of that making those screens. It shouldn't be too hard. They're all the same screen, so it'll be pretty basic. All right. Well, we'll, we'll shut her down for now and take another walk around when we're finished. And then uh, when I get a few of these made, I'll go inside. We'll show you putting those in. Maybe a little bit more of the view of the San Fernando Valley. It's a pretty amazing property. I, if you look, I don't know if you can see. I'll show you up here. It's kind of interesting. But up there, doesn't that look like uh, the Roadrunner in Wiley Coyote country? I expect the Wiley Coyote guy to come flying and splashing into the ground any minute. Uh, funny because on my dog walks the last few days, We've run into, my dog and I have run into um, a mother coyote that we almost got attacked by and her four or five puppies. So kind of appropriate, I guess. All right, let's get started. Let's go see if this is going to fit. Back to the view. And I'm not talking about those cackling hens on television. Check that out. A little foggy today. Let's see if this is going to fit. If it doesn't fit, you can't acquit. Let's see. All right. Hopefully we can get this on the camera. See if they want to do it. Oh, look at that, folks. Beautiful. Who is it? All right. Fits like a dream. Let's put the mesh together.
Let's go put these in. Those two finished. I had to buy some of these clips. This is the little clip right here. You can see it. Right? So that it's, it's like this, and then you turn it over, and it holds the, holds the frame in, in place. And then this place is missing most of them. It's weird. So I got this new tool. I got this new tool here. Uh, it's called, from old Milwaukee, called the Fastback. So it's the razor blade. You can change out the blades. It accepts any blade. But what I got it for was it's got this feature where you have the regular Phillips or flathead, right? I can't tell you how many times I've been doing screen doors, go to rescreen the door in place, which I do all the time, and uh, the handle's in the way, I gotta take it off, I gotta go back to the truck, get a Phillips screwdriver, it's a real drag. So uh, I bought this thing, it works just perfectly for this application. Back at it, back to the salt mine. All right, we are wrapping up the, what I'm gonna to refer to as the East Simi Valley with a view job. Uh, we ended up doing 40, count them, four zero screens, all new, except for those two long skinny ones you can see at the front door down there. Those were just rescreening. Uh, they were already there, but the screens had holes in them. So I'm gonna just take a quick walk around. I've been inside already in this video, so you don't need to go in there, but uh, the view is so incredible and Guess what, guys? Uh, the sun is out. What a concept. We have lived through most of June in the fog. Felt like we were in England or something. Uh, I've got a cousin in Beaverton, Oregon, near Portland, and his weather there was better than here. I think we switched places. But anyway, uh, they're still working on this backyard. But you can see it's just going to be spectacular when it's all finished. You can see up there. Oh, I never can work this thing. All up there. All those windows up way, way up there. Those little tiny ones. Yep, did all those. Those are all inside windows. Same with those two little ones you see there. The ones below it. There's a couple right here. Uh, I'm droning on and on, but nevertheless, this was just a massive job. You can see the whole bank. Every one of those little tiny windows uh, we had to rescreen. Probably doesn't seem like much to you until you have to cut each one of those out. And by the way, even though they look like they're the same size, they're vinyl, they're all warpy, and they had to be made one at a time because they're all different by, you know, an eighth or a quarter of an inch, kind of weird. Anyway, this is the East Simi job with a view. Um, I'm going to go out here and show you. This is San Fernando Valley. Look at that monstrosity. That guy's got a hotel down there, right? Check that out. I mean, seriously, look at that thing. And he's got an American flag, so he isn't woke. Uh, all the way out there to the left, as far as you can see, is Burbank. Uh, the other day I could see, I can see one now, you probably can't see it in the video, but there's a plane heading there to land way, way, way out there. Up on the hill, that's that Porter Ranch area, and the 118 freeway, all the way over there. And to our right is, and below me is Chatsworth. And way, way, way over there with those big tall buildings on that, that is uh, Warner Center, Woodland Hills. And what we commonly refer to as the San Fernando Valley, four and a half or five million people, same amount that have come across the border live right here in this valley, believe it or not. Uh, it is a ton of folks, but what a view. There goes a the train. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get down there on the train. The train in Spain. Am I looking at it? There it is. There's the old train over here. There goes a the train right through the tunnel. I think I mentioned the other day, right down there where that train just went through, basically, is where they had the old stagecoach route. And um, a lot of history out here in Simi Valley. They filmed tons of movies. Filmed the Flintstones out here a few years back. A whole bunch of westerns. Uh, just down over here to the left was Corriganville, a whole western town where they had, you could come out here and watch a western show. Plus they filmed out here. Lots of history, but anyway, we're wrapping up. I'm droning on, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it, it's easy to subscribe.
you just hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll know when we have new videos and the little bell thing and you know all the stuff those ut people throw up every time they're on on their channel do all those fun things we'd appreciate it trying to get more subscribers i know screening isn't the most exciting thing in the world but hey with all the options on tv it's something different to watch right all right window screen for east simi valley with a view out